I didn't really like Porky in Egypt as much as I thought I was going to. That's not to say I think it's a terrible animation, but the bits that I thought I might like didn't appeal to me. I didn't like the camel, and the bits that I was worried about actually were not too bad. This is a 1938 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Robert Clampett with a story by Ernest Gee, and we have Mel Blanc as Porky Pig, and Danny Webb as a camel called Humpty Bumpty. And... I did think, okay, the title's got the word Egypt in it. This is an early Warner Brothers cartoon. Is it going to be offensive? There are some stereotypes in it, but by no means is it as bad as I was expecting. There were some actually quite pleasant bits at the beginning when we are with other characters and there's this um, camel bus, if that's the best way to describe it. It's basically a camel with about 20 humps and it's public transportation. And I thought that you know visually worked very well. It was very effective. Porky misses this camel bus, so he has to ride a single camel, Humpty Bumpty, and when he gets into the desert, um, the hot sun wears, um, makes them both weary and tires them out, and this camel begins to hallucinate, and to be honest, that's when I stopped being interested, and by that I mean I actually found it quite creepy, and not fun I like to be creeped out creepy but just really uncomfortable creepy I didn't like this camel occasionally though he would say something that I thought was quite funny and it made me smile so I can't say that I hated the camel or his performance because there were a few things in there that I liked but generally I would have preferred if the camel didn't have a voice even if he went through the same experiences without going into too much detail um for example he starts to play the bagpipes at one point which, being a Scot, got my thumbs up. But, you know, he didn't need to speak for the, in order for that to happen, and I feel like it would have been better if he didn't have a voice, as I felt like it really took us out of the cartoon, whereas if he didn't have a voice, it could make one think, yeah, maybe a, cam- a camel can hallucinate in the desert, and maybe they can experience this. But by giving him a voice, it kind of broke that ability. Porky was pretty boring in this. Now, I'm a big fan of Porky Pig, and I just didn't like him in this at all. And then right at the end, and I won't say what happens or why, but at the end, he sounds so much like Daffy Duck. He does something, he laughs, and it just sounds like Daffy Duck laughing. And obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, after watching Daffy Duck cartoons, that just sounds weird and out of place. So it's not fair to judge it completely, because this was 1938. Um, before Daffy Duck um, was a shining star at Warner Brothers. So it wasn't actually Daffy's voice at the time. But in hindsight, it's just a little bit weird. So I didn't love it. It's relatively well animated. It's consistent. It's very well edited. The camel has a very consistent personality. I believe his personality. I just wish he didn't have a voice. That's not to say there's anything wrong with the voice acting. Um, I just found it really unnerving, but not in a fun, exciting way really just in an uncomfortable way. So Porky in Egypt was not what I was hoping for. Definitely didn't live up to my expectations. If you're a fan of Warner Brothers or Porky, I'd say it's worth a watch. Maybe I'll watch it again at some point, but definitely not in a hurry to do so.